Greetings, Stalker. Stalker Anomaly. This is a... It started out as a mod for Stalker, and pretty much just became its own little thing. And it's running better than previous versions of Stalker. I kind of I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this franchise. <laughs> like, I really enjoy these games. I love the atmosphere, but... On modern systems, they run like shit. So this one's running pretty good. Oh, crap, I'm starving. Well, this is just going to be a quick little... I just wanted to show that I made a Steam Controller profile for this. All basic stuff. You know, A for jump. Left grip. Left grip is a crouch. Hold it is to go even lower. But some of the more peculiar things on this that I wanted to just cover briefly is uh, left on left on left stick pulls up. It's pretty fancy. I'm, I'm, I'm a fan of this. <laughs> so you have slot slot one, two, three. Oh, I just forgot to put the uh, oh boy, amateur hour. I forgot to put three and four, and I already uploaded this to the community. So anyways, change your view. So you just kind of hover on them and then let go. But it's mainly to quickly use bandages or whatnot. And then you have a quick save and quick load. And then you just keep, keep it to the left, cancels it. It feels pretty good. You can also change view with uh, select. Item slot 1 and 2 for your weapons is Y, just so that kind of feels like a standard first-person shooter. Regular press is 1, which is your sidearm. Hold it is 2. And then it has a couple tweaks in here too, like holding left trigger keeps gyro on. And then I put the uh, D-pad clicks, so you can lean. Lean. Up click is switch to your knife. And down is to go to your PDA. Which I did that so because this is the kind of game like you can be moving. Check your PDA while you're still moving. So you don't have to take your thumb off the left pad. I tried to be as descriptive as I could in here. Oh, I was wrong about one and two. Yeah, one is your knife. Two is your primary, three is your, uh, or two is your pistol, three is your primary rifle. Boy, I'm screwing everything up. There are some modifiers under the left trigger. So you're holding the left trigger and then the left stick gets modified. Left is changing ammo. Right is your fire mode, so we have single fire, automatic, down there on the right. And you'll see I tried to put all that in there. You have ammo type, fire mode, and under barrel. Just since you use them a lot, I put bolt up on the left bumper. And then hold it for your detector. Uh, hold, select is an auto walk if you need it. You can disable that auto-walk. Basically, anything that would change the action layer. So, if I have the auto-walk on, if I just click right bumper, that will disable it. Or, just hold it again. Click left stick to bring up your PDA. Yeah, everything else is pretty self-explanatory in here. I just wanted to make a brief video on this because it was a, I saw a Reddit post about Stalker. It's like, oh yeah, I was I was putting some effort into making a pretty snazzy profile for this and I sort of got distracted. But yeah, the right bumper, right pad is also giving you a lot of the... I don't have binoculars yet. Go into your PDA, night vision, and in your bolt. I kind of do some redundancies on radial menus it, it's twofold it's to to fill up the radio menu with options plus the radio menu can be if you can't remember the key bindings you know this is a little bit 
more uh, visually accessible to a new player. If you forget, you know, hold Y button to change. So I, li I like to do that instead of just forcing you to have to remember all these weird button controls. It's like, well, there's a couple things in here that are exclusive to this radial menu, but you also have your basics, and you could open up your PDA from here too. So there is, there is a method to my madness for that. But the main thing for this was that I was pretty excited with this left stick radial menu. I might need to make a separate video on that, just because I, I like the way that came out. But yeah, everything in here is feeling pretty solid. I don't think there's anything I left out. Um, I've been playing the game a little bit. Maybe I'll get some gameplay vids up. The uh, Well, this is a non-Steam game, so just download the mod. You know, Get everything running. Add the launcher into Steam. I'll put it in the description, I'll tell you exactly what you add into Steam. But you just added it, and then... And then I just gave it the name, Stalker Anomaly. I think it may have been called, like, X Engine Launcher or something like that. But I'll put that in the description, and then this should... Once, if you add the game the way I did, which will be in the description, it sh this should show up. I really... I really love the style of these Stalker games. And yeah, this one, it's very playable. I get a pretty decent frame rate. I don't get the massive stutter. The only time you'll get stutter on this is uh, as it loads new areas. So let's just sprint a little bit and see. Like, I think the camp is over here. Let's see if it stutters at all. No? So yeah, I'm, I'm trying to find some load stutter, and I'm struggling to even find any. Now I'm exhausted and hungry. I'll notice some minimal stutter as I, if I'm sprinting and enter like a new bubble of activity, it might stutter a little bit, but it's nowhere near the way it is in the older Stalker games. Like I tweaked around some of this stuff, like the grass size, I think, from the detail, from the uh, default. go through that if you're having some performance issues. Now, I do have a, a fairly beefy PC right now, so... But you can scale it down. It's really, it's, they wanted this, uh... the grass density to be really thick in this one, which makes it really moody and will throw off your awareness as things are like running around in the grass. It's pretty cool. And I personally kept the depth of field on, just because I like the atmosphere of it, but that can be buggy a little bit. Like, you'll, it'll sometimes not focus where you feel like it should. But regardless, that's neither here nor there. That's just performance stuff. I really just wanted to show this get this uh, profile out there and then I can get back to playing it <laughs> so that's that you'll find the profile in the description or on the Steam community page that's gonna drive me crazy now that I forgot to give that slot 3 and 4 ugh <laughs> oh well so, alright that's it I will see you around